Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 with this Prussian campaign, and we have a bit of an odd battle today. So, if you remember, there was a full stack in Bavaria, um, which wasn't actually protecting the town. Now, I thought them, or Napoleon, would actually move against me. But Napoleon is still in the Tirol region and he's not moving, or as far as I know, it's still France's turn, so they could still move him up north to take Bavaria. But um, this army, rather than to go, which this army was located in Bavaria, decided that, you know what, I'm not gonna go to Bavaria. Instead, I'm gonna sax. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna Saxon Saxony. No, I'm gonna attack Saxony. And I do not have a lot of troops. Well, I do have a lot of troops, as we can see, numbers are uh, the same, but I mean, I don't have any good troops compared to the French. However, what I do have is I have forts. So I do have, even though, I mean, I can't out resolve it, but I do have, um, I think I do have the advantage there. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time on this battle because I think we have other more fun and important things we can do with our time rather than spending on this. So I'll show you a, probably a bit of this, but I want to do some other battles and there's probably... Uh, the enemy is probably going to attack me in multiple areas. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we'll uh, jump in here first. Right, this could go very bad, but I'm hoping that we're strong enough to hold off the French. My plan is to keep them outside the wall for as long as possible, so I've drawn this very thin line of uh, the armed citizenry militia. And hopefully they'll volley fire the enemy once they get really close, and then we have cannon fire and musket fire from the really bad unhalten infantry on top of the wall. Right, let's see if this works. As the enemy is closing in, I want to go to slow-mo so we time this precisely. And, well, I don't think we're gonna get a better shot. And then this. So I'm telling them to fire it well. And it seems like I pressed it just in time as uh, they're able to unleash their... F what? At that range. And... They still weren't really able... Wow, I like this part. This bit is best. This is probably the best. They stood ready to throw the bloody, like, shackle things onto the wall rather than attack the unit. Okay, so my plan of, you know, close fire volley the enemy. It seems to be working against these guys. But the other two clearly fail in their attempt at uh, shooting down the enemy. Um, I'm sending up a unit here to cover this area. It would be kind of a major setback if I all of a sudden lose Saxony that I've held on for so long. Um, yeah, they, the French broke down all the units in front. I was able to inflict some damage, but I mean, I lost, what, 600 men out there on the outside. The thing is, it was all armed citizenry there, so it wasn't that bad, but still. Wait, 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 are you charging in through the bloody gate? Someone close the gate! Someone close the bloody gate. Damn, that armed citizenry was utterly slaughtered by the French units outside. All cheers open the fire towards the wall. Um, oh shit, they're climbing the wall over here. I thought we would be have time to at least fire a bit here. A unit was entirely captured, or entirely killed. 
Oh, they're climbing up uh, on the back here. They've captured this wall. Um, bypassing this unit. Kind of ish, they're firing. So, uh. Yeah, this isn't going too well. Shit. Turn immediately. I'm trying to face these guys. I think they're running up the stairs again. Get a bit closer. Stop them on the stairs. See the back row of soldiers are lining up. I thought we were going to face this way though. Maybe I should close, the, close in even further to actually get some hits here. I think we might get some. Ah shit, they're going in through the gate. It's a unit of conscripts. Hold. Fire! Damn you! Wow, did you even shoot anyone? No, you didn't. Hold in the front walls. It's kind of pointless at this point. Because the enemy has broken in. And I don't want them to cap the place. So all the unhalted infantry will retreat. This unit actually cut the way through this unit. At least that's good now. It kind of means that all the units inside here will hold until they're dead. You know what? Unhealthen infantry. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You will hold and fire into the back of the conscripts. The general and that unit is has managed to get down. You know what? I think we can uh, probably melee charge the conscripts, sandwich them, and in that way destroy them. Maybe I should have stopped to fire. No, it went rather quickly, so they got. Nicely done. I want this little small unit then to locate itself in there. Then the Alhalten infantry will uh, set up in the middle of the courtyard. Okay, the French are setting up firing into the flank of this unit, which is firing on these. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. anything there. We're probably just going to lose troops. So, I'll have them come down as well. We need to man the houses. So, I'll push uh, two units into either of these. And then this one will set up here. And then we'll have one looking this way, one looking that way. And this one will be formed into square. We'll hold the fire on the guys downstairs just to be sure that we can kind of deliver close volleys. Okay, they're trying to blow up that. I guess I can play for time. Which, of course, I said 60 minutes. We've routed one French unit. Ah, oh, crap. They're coming in through the gate now. Sappers and... Uh, Grenadiers, turn to face them. I mean, I am pushing quite a bit of fire from this house. I do think we kind of need to close in on them. I'll push these guys out there. You will open fire. And then once these guys are dead, you can stand behind them and fire. 
Enemy grenadiers turning. Shit. Are they firing in through the gate or where did that fire come from? Okay, so we have quite a lot of French troops coming in here. Right, at this range. Even at this range, it didn't go too well for the artillery. But it was a very small sapper unit, so. Maybe no surprise that they managed to handle that. I think the square needs to be dropped and instead moved into line. We've got a unit of um, Bavarians moving in. The general can open fire, that would be nice. The Bavarians are actually broken. But then the grenadiers are actually trying to uh, charge in through the house. Thing is, once I lose this unit here, which is only two men at this point, they will try to come down to face us down here, which is what they will do. And now they will come down here to face us, and they will be coming in from both sides. Ah, shit. The cavalry is probably the worst part. But once I defeat, if I can defeat the enemy infantry, they won't be able to come in. Oh, they're coming in now through the gate here. Do we uh, send the Grenadiers out? It's lots of Bavarian troops. Even though I uh, gave Bavaria over to the uh, Austrians, are the Grenadiers still in the house? Or did they retreat? Can we see what's going on inside? Yeah, let's put someone else in that window. Oh, it's the cavalry running about outside. So all of the walls are actually belonging to France right now. Good, we got rid of those guys. Ah shit, I forgot to turn this one around. But they actually broke before that. Hurry move to turn and face those guys. I kind of want to reclaim some of the walls at least, so we're going to put the armed citizenry up here. And I kinda got the French Grenadiers moving in here a bit cornered. Let's see if we can gain some ground. The cavalry seem to have quite a bit of a difficulty to um, actually get inside. We are breaking quite a few in infantry units here. How long has this battle gone on for? 12 minutes. Clearly it seems that I will kind of be able to break my way through this because a lot of the infantry has been cut down to a point where they can't really contest me. And once the walls are secure, I think we got this. Okay, they're coming in from the other side, I want you to turn. The cavalry is attacking the general. The square has to open fire as we've got Hussars now roaming the inside. No way my fort is falling. The French Hussars were broken. The Sappers are back. But I don't think they're gonna be uh, fighting for much longer. Six grenadiers. Probably gonna break as well. And then they only really have. Uh, oh, it's the 19th light horse. On this side, we've got the terrible. Terribles. Let's see if we can force them out of here as well. 
Okay, we need to form square all over the place because the carbineers have turned up. Which, I don't know how many times I've pointed out that it's one of the like best units. Best heavy cavalry in the game. Or at least as I recall it. Kind of Waterloo feeling here with all the squares. If Waterloo took place within the confines of a port in Saxony. Okay, they decide to retire. And instead they're gonna be rep Oh! They uh, ran into a Carassier regiment and then they're gonna try it again. Infantry on this side is defeated. We got one unit of line coming down there. And we also have these three over here. I kind of re I've reclaimed this. I want this unit to move over here. See if we can fire down upon them. Oh, that's why this squ this square is doing so poorly. These guys are right here firing onto them. However, this unit is also taking quite a bit of fire from the house and then from the um, armory. This square is going to get killed though if we don't move it. Bloody uh, cavalry. Got that unit over there. Oh, they're charging these guys. Form the square again. Hopefully we can break this one. And this one. Oh, we've got... Really, all everyone's on that side. But tell them to move over. We need some muskets on this side. Also, I don't know why they haven't opened these windows to fire on these. See if we can break this unit. But first, the cavalry needs to go. Cavalry needs to be broken. The squares are really tiny at this point. Okay, you decided to go into melee with these guys instead. Which I guess is okay, you're holding them up. Okay, tell me the cavalry is dealt with already. Why aren't you guys firing? See if we can turn the square so that you are actually facing them. Let's have this small unit move over and shoot these guys. I said I didn't want to do too much of this, but I want to be in a. I will. I don't think I'm going to play it through throughout completely throughout. Uh, but what I want is to be in a point where I can definitely show that you know I'm going to be victorious in this battle. If I hold fire, we get everyone to be reloaded. We move really close and then with the liver of Oli could probably break them. This square is not doing too hot against the cuirassiers. Okay, everyone's ready. We're gonna get as close as we can. We're gonna deliver a volley. Where are you guys taking fire from? That is what I want to see. And hopefully we won't see those guys again. We have this one to deal with now. So once these guys are out, you will hold fire. You will move over here and then we'll see about moving them over there. Ah, this square is broken. Um, try to retreat to what does the house? No, actually, you you don't have room. So you'll try to go for the armory instead. And... Uh, I mean, it's gonna bring the Karasiers in to more heavy, uh, to more heavy fire. It's probably gonna break them. Once these guys reloaded, run up, shoot these. I'm hoping these guys won't come back. 
Ah, right. The Kraziers are gone. We do have a unit coming in here. Okay, you guys are reloaded. Move. We got Karazir being dragged out of the fort by the horse. <laughs> be a miracle if we hold. Yeah, this seems like a good spot to fire from. I think there were about a hundred, weren't they? And now they're down to 65. Panic spreads as they try to make it out of the fort. Won't have to deal with them again. We still have this unit. Which the general will deal with. And once that's done, I think we can sa safely say that the fort was successfully held. Um, they are breaking it down though. And if we need support, we have this other unit of 82 men ready to run up behind the uh, fort commander and his unit. Okay, the Bavarians just standing there facing their own way. It's really like an execution. Oh, they're turning around. Fire! Return fire, goddamn you! Even though the Bavarians were able to fire first, I think that they lost more men. I don't know how many we had in this unit before. I think we lost 18. What? Oh, the terrible are back. This fort will not fall. I don't think they're gonna stand for very long though. Nope, they're, they're gone. That's only the that Voltageer unit. Which I need to deal with. And I'm gonna do that by having this unit claim the gate. I'm gonna have these guys coming through. But uh, yeah, I think this is the end of the battle. So for you guys, I'm gonna cut over to the end screen of this. It took a while. But we managed to power through it. And it was an immensely bloody battle, as we can see. There's only 800 Frenchmen left. And there's only 500 Prussians left to hold the fort. However, we will get reinforcements as the French will not be able to maintain the siege. And yeah, hopefully I can save uh, Saxony. And there we have it, the end of turn is over. We managed to recruit some troops. Oh yes, I forgot about that. I am uh, I was establishing a like a garrison force in Brandenburg. So we have guard artillery, six pounders, but still cannons, and then four line infantry. But I think that uh, my army in Bavaria is kinda of within range. So they will uh, cause quite an upset for that French army, which is down to 800 men. Even if they attack again, I don't think they will uh, have a chance. So during the end turn, um, the Austrians set up in uh, Bavaria. I think Napoleon is probably still there. One of my fleets got destroyed, or one of my fleets. What I did was... Um, one of my smallest boats, one of the, um, what's it called, sloops, uh, that was really bad, badly damaged, that was still stationed here, actually got run down by the Spanish fleet. This Spanish fleet is um, actually comparable to mine, so it's not that um, 
it wasn't that big. Like it, it had similar ships to what I have. Um, I guess just more of these smaller frigates. Oh, it's a British fifth rate. A stolen a ship of the British. However, my fleet has gone through quite a bit, and I am not ready to try and fight the Spanish, so we're gonna continue on our plan to skedaddle out of here and find safe port to replenish our troops on board these uh, ships. I want this one, which will pass into the English Channel, will, I must say, be quite safe um, since we got Swedish Navy and so forth close by. One thing that it has happened is that uh, the French seem to be going to retake this. Uh, they crushed an English force somewhere around here. And as we can see, they have pushed through, they have liberated the factories of the Ruin, and then they have retaken the port here. So it looks like they might be able to retake this area. With that said, I think we're about only one turn away until this one. These two armies can go ahead and set their sights on this, and then go ahead and have the big battle here. Uh, I don't think we're going to have more for this episode than that fourth battle, unfortunately. I can go ahead and end turn one more and see what um, the enemy does, but that's about it. Also, I mean, I started building some unnecessary buildings, like that building in Poland. Um, doesn't really give me anything. We can't recruit any specific troops. One thing that I kind of regret is the fact that you know we did have some like if I put all the East Prussian Grenadiers and all the East Prussian infantry together we could probably have had like a um, East Prussian army which would have been cool there isn't really that much East Prussian stuff we can recruit um, and also, I mean, maybe I should have kept some of these regions for myself, but the thing is, having that constant stream of armies is probably has to trump the fact that um, I'm not able to recruit uh, specific units from uh, Wartenberg or Hessen or uh, Munich or the Bavarians, which I think are the three ones that I can besides Saxony. Because Hanover doesn't give me anything more than the Lippen Troop, and the Lippen Troop is god awful. Oldenburg, fully upgraded, only gives me Confederation of the Rhine militia. Not any good there. And then same with uh, Klevsmark. I mean, I do get specific troops from uh, Silesia. Especially the Landwehr was pretty cool, because they're pretty good. Um, maybe I should add on to some stuff here just in case the French come through here again. We did get Chevron for this. I'm talking way too much. Let's end turn and see if we maybe can get a little battle somewhere or something. Or maybe just make some move. Oh, you know what? On the campaign map. What I forgot about is this. I wonder if I should close the distance all the way or if I should stay at the bridge. Because I imagine there's tons of Ottoman troops up there, possibly. I can't actually see. It seems the Russians have been here and the Russian trashed this army. We'll then turn and see. But yeah. Ha! <laughs> they go ahead and try to attack Saxony again. They demand the surrender. No way am I surrendering. Am I gonna have to teach you again? Old man, there's no way he's going to be able to do this. Uh, but the, I don't think you guys want to see this one. I mean, the first one I thought, well, it was okay because it was touch and go and it was pretty cool there when the squares and stuff. But yeah, I think I'll end it here and I'll do this one off camera as Joseph was um, once again.
defends the fort. But yeah, for the next one, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll get a proper naval battle. I think the one I did was pretty cool, but maybe get a proper one. Now when I have a big captured ship, we can smash through. And I really want to capture some enemy trade ships. Set up good trade positions. Um, but yeah, there's some stuff that we've talked about uh, to look forward to. But with that said, I'm going to end it right here. And I'll say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.